we move on to our next and last speaker, sorry, I need to stop sharing and share the screen again. Our next speaker is Rory Jackson, who will tell us uh, about the project, Ocean Plastic Project that he has been leading in West Cork. Just a second, Rory, that I share the PowerPoint. Can you see yeah. the PowerPoint all right? Yeah, hello, everybody. Um, and thank you uh, to the Ocean uh, our, our Ocean Ocean Network for allowing me to, to speak again, um, having uh, spoken at a previous conference in I think 2018-19. So since we start, I started the project in 2017. For those of you that don't know about it, um, and this was um, to go into secondary schools and develop ocean literacy. Um, among students there in the transition year cycle. Um, we started with one school as a, as a pilot. Um, we now are working with six uh, secondary schools um, have come on board and we, we go in and we, we talk about um, marine litter and waste coming on our shores. Um, primarily the, the project brings the students out onto the beaches. We, we research uh, the plastic waste we're finding, collect it, um, analyze it, see where it's coming from, um, the students uh, very much take ownership of the project uh, through their uh, transition year cycle. Um, the aim is to, 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 to develop it as a, as a module within the transition year um, and uh, have it as an ongoing um, project, which with, with most of the schools it is, it's, it's, it's trying to get to fit into their timeline. Um, so if we can get actually as, as, a, mo as a module, it, it means it's a, it's a definite subject choice um, for them. Um, because, you, you know, I mean, I'm getting schools like the Manway now coming on board who, who have no real connection with the sea, but they're aware of the ocean plastic problem. Um, and, and this is uh, the, the, you know, the, the students drive the project, they, they record what they're doing, they engage with media, they engage with um, their local area, um, to look at it. Now there's a short video here which um, Maria will show, we'll, we'll press play on there and it'll give you an idea of, of the type of thing we're doing. Um, I'll, walk, I'll talk away through it um, if I can because it, it shows uh, the students picking up uh, plastic on the beach, uh, microplastic uh, and large amounts of plastic, anything at all. We, we weigh this and, and, me and measure uh, the amounts that we're getting. Um, the data is all being stored and, and collected um, and working on, on an easier way to, to, to manage this uh, other than, than paper recording. Uh, development of an app is ongoing um, to help record the, the data quicker and, and, and upload it to, to our website. Um, coming more recently we formed the Ocean Plastics as a CLG because um, we're, we're, we're non-profit. Um, you can see here, upcycling has become a major theme as well. We, we, last year, we worked with a, a group of students in a school in Skull, um, and um, they are um, seen here sitting on, on, on a recycled, um, upcycled boat that was, was not fit for purpose. So it's a fiberglass boat. Um, it, was, it was part of the, the school sailing school uh, air, um, in, uh, boats, but it was not fit for purpose any longer. So the idea came about with the students to, to, to see what we could do with this, and, and they came up with the design. Um, it's now part of the school furniture in, in, and the, um, uh, in the school's kind of amenity area where they can relax and sit down, and it's kind of considered a sort of transition year um, uh, sitting area for the in, in the school um, area, so it, it, it's it's great to see um, it, it being it being utilised and used every day. The current team um, involved are custodians of it and are looking to 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 make sure that it, it stays fit for purpose and and up upscaling and, and increasing um, um, adding things to that to that to that project. So it, it really is a uh, it was wonderful to work with them and. Um, and go on. So the, um, the you know the aim of the project is to is develop get more schools involved. Um, uh, obviously, that's leaving me uh, fairly fairly stressed as as one person at the moment. Um, and the you know we're hoping to get um, 
uh, funding now to, to, to develop it further and then we can maybe look at getting uh, other people involved and training them up to, to, to help roll out the project further into other schools. I'm getting getting calls for uh, schools in East Cork looking to get involved as well. So, you know, I, I obviously you know, need to fund that in some way or and, 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 and help help the project grow. But um, each year I get more and more schools um, and uh, the students, the appetite from the students is fantastic. And the once they get engaged, um, they, they really um, they really make a difference and uh, to, in their own communities and it's getting recognition um, finally as well. So um, I'm delighted to, to connect with anybody uh, beyond the, the, the the meeting today um, and um, look thank you all for listening um, and hope to talk to you again soon thank you Rory for your contribution it's really interesting